Hey, it's Walt, K4OGO. You know, those of us that operate portable ham radio, um, we've probably always, while you're out, and if you're, especially if you're near people, you get a question, hey, what are you doing? And what that happens to me, I usually just say, hey, I'm a ham radio operator. I'm talking to people on the other side of the world. They usually say, hey, that's cool. And I go, yeah, thank you. And I go on about my business. Ever so often, though, there's always a problem. That person, it just has to, uh, you know, stir up something, tell you you can't do this or, or get into things. And uh, it's a shame. It really is a shame. And uh, this past weekend, I had one of those problems. A spot that I always operate in, here in the harbor, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Virginia. As a matter of fact, a couple of my recent videos, the uh, Slidewinder Coil video, the True USDX video, were filmed in this very spot where this happened to me this weekend. I had uh, a HOA president, we'll just call her Karen, and um, she didn't like the fact that I had been there in the past operating and was there on this particular day. So uh, stick around, you'll see that. And then after this uh, little clip with her, uh, we'll go back over it. I I'm kind of curious on uh, your opinions. Maybe you can leave your uh, opinions or, or some uh, advice or comments uh, in the comment section because uh, I think I handled this well, but um, maybe there's something I could have done better. Here, stick around, check this out. public city easement. This side of the sidewalk is a city easement. If you go check the law, I've already well, checked on it. We pay taxes on it. So do I. I live, I live on, 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 on North Street. We personally pay taxes. I on personally this piece do of for the city of Portsmouth. This not is easement. We pay taxes on this piece of dirt. We do. Okay. It's a city easement. When you're on this side of the sidewalk, it belongs. It's a city easement. It's, it's public property, per se. I mean, I don't know what the problem is. I'm mean, listen. I'm going to be nice to you. I don't want to. I don't want a problem with you. I just don't understand why I'm sitting here, just binding my business with an antenna, talking on the radio. How that bothers anybody. This is Portsmouth. I live here. I'm here with a radio. Are you really? Come on. Just don't. Why are you doing this? Because I was asked to. By who and why? Yeah. Read me the read me the email because it's ridiculous. Yeah. Is there some sort of response that the board can think about? I would really like to discourage this sort of activity. He has put his antenna into the ground. When he talks on his radio, he's also very loud. Thanks. I, I just, I, I don't get it. That's why why I, a man harassed for... Him. Yeah, but you're just harassing me. I mean, because he's harassing me. This is just some... Talk to TV on and watch TV. There's no way you can hear me out here. There's no way. It's just impossible. This is just somebody... Like just got nothing better to do than to bother someone that's out here minding their own business with an antenna right beside the Elizabeth River. I come out here. I've been out here 40 times. Probably. I come out here all the time. I live. To I live a block. I live right across the street over there. So, just curiosity. Yeah. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to. Do. I know. I know. But so, still, it's like the fact that. So Walter, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Is there something unique to this spot that you can't yeah, do? Yeah. There. Over? There is. I'm down. I need to be about. 20 inches from that water right there. So if I moved right so there the with that, goes back, you can't do it. Yeah, I can I go down in the sand and do it? So I just don't. I don't listen. This is really crazy that you're you're harassing me for just sitting here enjoying my hobby. I don't get it. It's why? Right. It's a harassment. Why has that person got a problem with me sitting out here? You know what? There is so much going on in Portsmouth that's bad. A person out here with a scientific hobby that's like enjoying himself and you got I don't want to cause any trouble, but I'm not moving. You can call the police. You can get them here. Okay? Because I'm not moving. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not moving. Because I, 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 I contribute to this city and this community a lot. And because someone doesn't like me out here talking on my radio, it's, I'm not, it's just not going to happen. It's a principle for it now. I mean... If they would have personally said, hey, I can hear it, I would turn it down, and I will keep it down. I, I don't know how anybody can hear me out here, especially, like... Well, sound does travel. Yeah, okay. All right, well... So if you'll keep it down... I'll, I'll keep it down for you. I'll keep it down for you. Well, there you go. Um, like I said, uh, I thought I handled it well. I, I don't know. I, I really didn't want drama. I just wanted her to go away so I could continue operating. Um, 
I got to a point there though. I was determined. There's no way I'm leaving this spot. I was just, you know, that's I guess human nature or whatever. And uh, the funny thing is though, it's public property. And what's really crazy is you can go out there any day, right now, and there'll be people standing out there with fishing rods, fishing right where I had an antenna. So it really, it didn't make any sense. You know, it was a control thing. You know, I've got a wife who was a uh, human services and counseling major in college, and we talked about it. She said it's just control. There's something in their life that they can't control so they see you outside or see you doing something happy and, and everything's great and they want to control it so if you're an amateur radio operator and you run into a situation like this you know what just remember that you know it's it, i know it's aggravating but you know, all this is is it's their problem not yours you're not doing anything wrong as a matter of fact you know this very area where i live at uh, a few years back we got hit by hurricane isabel and i went 16 days without electricity or a telephone and um you know at that time that's when things like amateur radio are really valuable i mean that was just a category one hurricane god forbid that we were hit with something here in our harbor like katrina that hit new orleans at a cat four or cat five that's when these people that want to give me trouble would need me more than ever because you know what i'd be the form in the line of communications for an emergency and that's just all amateur radio operators that's that's one of our number one things and for that matter going out there and building an antenna and and putting it up and, and, and honing my skill learning learning things all that's doing is advancing uh, the skill set that I will have should we have an emergency. But anyway, you know, I can ramble on all day about that. It's not always this way. And I got to be honest with you, there's been some times that people have come up on the beach and talked to me. And I've really found it pretty cool. Here's an instance that uh, one of my favorites. Hi. Are you the guys looking for the baby? Which one? Are you the guy looking for the baby? No. Oh, I thought you might be like. I'm a ham radio operator. I'm just out here playing with my radio. That's an antenna. I made an antenna. Oh, I thought you were kind of... Oh, no, no. I'm just out here... I'm just a... I'm just a nerd with the radio playing ham radio. That's all I am. <laughs> Are you listening to the whales? That's actually an intelligent question because if you see somebody on the beach with wires going into the water and you don't know what it is, you know, you're thinking, hey, maybe this guy's a scientist and he's uh, got, you know, marine biologist or something. And truly, I've seen whales right there where I was sitting out in the water. So uh, that was pretty cool. But anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. Um, as I said before, if you've got, uh, you know, a better way of handling this if you think I was wrong, if you think I was right, you know, let me know. I, I'm interested and really interested in your comments. So please comment down there in the, uh, in the comment section. Um, man, we have been for the last two and a half years locked up, muzzled and masked. I mean, everything. And you would think that people now would just be happy. Get outside. Enjoy life. Leave people alone. I mean, my God, it's been like th through this whole pandemic, things have been horrible. People are getting else out now and enjoying themselves. So you know what? If you're not an amateur radio operator and you see one outside enjoying himself, leave him alone. He's having a good time. And at the end of the day, he's probably going to be able to offer a service for you should things get really bad that you're going to need. All right, enough of my soapbox. Thanks for watching. I'm Walt, K4OGO73, my friends. Have a good one.